This video is about the top 10 luxury supercars in the world. 1. McLaren 720S Where both of its predecessors, the 650S and the MP412C, failed in our supercar class chart, the McLaren 720S has triumphed, it has topped it. Few things in this segment of the performance vehicle market are as straightforward or as successful as a car accelerating faster, lapping faster, and stopping harder than any competitor. The 720S can complete all three. In fact, this 710 BHP blockbuster matches up better against a modern hypercar than one of its mid-engine rivals in many of the performance metrics that road testers typically measure. Yet also it's uncommonly communicative and easy to drive, it's a supreme ergonomic achievement and it flatters a rambunctious track style more rewardingly than any of its predecessors. McLaren launched the lighter, faster and generally more track-focused version of the 720S, the 765 LT, in 2020. Power and torque had been lifted to 754 bhp and 590 pounds foot respectively, while the engineer shaved 80 kilograms in weight. It's a very special car indeed and itself also an autocar top 10 chart topper, being ranked secretly in our hardcore sports cars chart. 2. Ferrari SF90 Stradale This successor of sorts to the LaFerrari hypercar is the most powerful road car in Ferrari's history. The car also set the quickest lap time around the firm's Fiorano test track. Oh, and it's a plug-in hybrid that can travel for up to 15 miles on electricity alone. The SF90 Stradale is a very different kind of Ferrari, then. It makes use of a heavily reworked version of the 488 Pistas twin turbocharged 3.9 liter V8, which is complemented by a trio of electric motors that raise the Ferrari's total power output to a staggering 986 bhp, allowing for a 0 to 62 miles per hour time of 2.5 seconds. It's a technological tour de force for sure yet, despite the additional weight that the powertrain brings, it's still just as incisive. Intuitive, engaging and devastatingly quick as you would expect a mid-engine Ferrari to be. 3. Ferrari F8 Tributo Ferrari will tell you its new F8 Tributo is a replacement for the excellent 488 GTB, but in reality it's more of a heavy facelift. That said, it's a facelift that makes use of plenty of reworked engineering know-how from the stunning track-focused. 488 Pista and the 488 Challenge Race car, so we can probably cut Ferrari some slack in this respect. Anyway, its twin turbocharged V8 now develops 710 bhp and 568 pounds foot and, surprise surprise, it's as devastatingly fast as ever. It may still lack some of the oral drama of the old 458 Italia's naturally aspirated V8, but the introduction of a new hot tube resonator helps pipe a dash more noise into the cabin. Variable boost management ramps up torque gradually, too, so it not only feels more like an Atmo engine but also almost eliminates turbo lag. The F8 Tributo chassis is the main attraction, however. Not only does it make the engine's stratospheric performance accessible but it also endows the car with other worldly levels of agility, balance and handling panache. Make no mistake, this is a sensational supercar. 4. Lamborghini Huracan Evo Only the makers of the world's rarest and most expensive, hand-built automotive exotics can now really compete with Lamborghini. When it comes to creating cars of pure combustive drama, traffic-stopping looks and feral, unfettered soul. The Huracan may be the firm's entry-level model, but it's no second-order offering when it comes to its sensational styling or its fantastically wild, naturally aspirated V10, an engine that over-delivers in equal measure on speed, responsiveness and audible character. The facelifted Evo version gets rear-wheel steering and torque vectoring, and the results raise the Huracan's game closer to that of its McLaren and Ferrari rivals that you also get the 631 bhp powertrain from the old, hardcore performante seals this junior Lamborghini's reputation as a seriously rewarding, engaging supercar. 5. Ford GT The myth and mystique of the Ford GT, stretching back more than five decades to the GT40 string of successive victories at Le Mans, would have given this car a larger-than-life presence in any class in which we put it, and lends it an appeal that's utterly unique and difficult to quantify. The car having originally resurrected in 2005, this third coming of the motoring legend is a cleverly conceived road-going version of Ford's World Endurance Championship racer. Available in left-hand drive only, it has a chassis and suspension more exotic than almost any rival, and an engine adapted from then of the F-150 pickup truck. 6. Lamborghini Aventador SVJ A drive in Sonagata's 12-cylinder, mid-engined, series production flagship supercar isn't something you'll forget. The Aventador's line goes all the way back through Murcielago, 
Diablo and contached to the legendary Miura, and it's a car with the stunning looks and full-blooded naked aggression to hold its own even in comparison with its incredible ancestors. It burst onto the scene with almost 700 atmospheric horsepower and Machiavellian four-wheel drive in 2011, and was updated to S specification in 2017 to include four-wheel steering and even more grunt. Now we have the heroic SVJ, which takes an already unmissable car and turns it into the world's greatest attention magnet, thanks to an astonishing body kit. 7. Noble M600 This ultra-low volume, hand-built British supercar bears the name of the man behind the memorable late 1990s M12 sports car, although it's made by a Midlands firm that no longer has anything to do with him. It's still built, mind you, to suit specialized tastes that Lee Noble may approve of, with lightness and simplicity, with the purity of a manual gearbox and rear-wheel drive, without anti-lock brakes or electronic driver aids and for those who like their performance cars raw, direct and big on pace, excitement and involvement. When it was introduced, its 650bhp Yamaha turbocharged V8 was potent enough to place it well clear of the average mid-engined exotic on power and torque. These days, it's less of a clear on paper draw, but it continues to produce a massive swell of acceleration for the M600 that has to be felt to be believed. Handling is at once super purposeful and amazingly interactive and adjustable with it, although the car's ergonomic layout and cabin finish leave a bit to be desired. 8. Aston Martin Vanquish Aston Martin is set to revive its Vanquish nameplate when it launches its own mid-engine rival to the likes of the McLaren 720S and Ferrari F8 Tributo. The car was previewed at the 2019 Geneva Motor Show in Vanquish Vision concept form and is expected to make use of a hybrid engine from Mercedes-AMG. A new bonded aluminium architecture will underpin the car. Production is expected to commence at Aston Martin's Gaten facility in 2022, with prices likely being around the £250,000 mark when it eventually hits the market. 9. Aston Martin Valhalla Aston Martin refers to Valhalla as the son of Valkyrie, but that's not to say it should in any way be thought of as a lesser supercar. It might not use the same Cosworth developed V12 as its bigger sibling, but expect power to exceed 800 bhp in any case. It's clear that Aston Martin has the likes of the Ferrari SF90 Stradale locked in its sights. It'll make use of a similar carbon fiber architecture to the Valkyrie, while its active suspension and aerodynamic architecture will also be related. That said, Aston also says that it will be more usable in the real world. 10. BMW M1 some 41 years have passed since the original BMW M1 supercar first saw the light of day but, at long last, it seems that Munich might be about to put a successor into production. The recently previewed Vision M Next concept will make its public debut at this year's Frankfurt Motor Show, and BMW has already said that it plans to deliver on what we promise, suggesting that the firm is seriously considering putting the car into production. Insiders have already told us it's likely the car will be introduced as a limited-run model ahead of the launch of the second-generation i8. Power is thought to come from a four-cylinder petrol engine mounted behind the driver, which is complemented by two electric motors for a total power output of 591 bhp. Its 0 to 62 miles per hour time is thought to be around the 3.0 seconds mark, while an electric-only range of more than 62 miles is thought to be possible. What do you think of our video? Let us know in the comments section below. Before you go please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.